So this page of my website took me just a few seconds to publish because I used two free plugins to create a whole bunch of custom templates for myself. So whenever I need to add a new page or section, I just add it from here, like this. Then modify the text and images and voila, new page ready to publish. Now I'll show you how to add custom page templates to your site as well. The first step is to first make sure that a site isn't too slow. Most people don't realize it, but the sites are too slow and whatever pages they build out are not even loading properly for their visitors. So let's fix that first. Let's go and add your website to Google PageSpeed. And if the score we receive is less than 90, then it means that our site is already too slow. And we need to fix this before we do anything else. Now, there's a few other speed plugins in the market, but they're either paid or have hundreds of settings, which beginners like me can't understand. So my team made our own speed plugin called Airlift, which is completely free. We've built successful plugins before, so you can trust they know their stuff. After installing Airlift, you just need to add your site. And with one click, it does everything needed to make your site up to three times faster and get a 90 plus score like this. There's no hidden conditions here and it's free. So you can keep it activated to keep your site fast. So click the link in description and you can use it first. Then move on to the next step. Now let's come to our WordPress dashboard. Go to plugins and add new. Then search for Elementor. So this is the one we want. Let's install and then activate it. Now come here and it's time to build a page. Now on the left sidebar, hover the mouse over pages and click add new page. It's going to take me to a blank page where we can build our website. On top, you'll see this blue button that says edit with Elementor. So click it and it opens up this canvas where we can edit with Elementor. Now the left sidebar has a bunch of options to manually add elements, but we're going to skip it since it would take too much time. And I'm going to show you custom templates. So let's go to this little folder icon, hover the mouse over it and click it. So it's going to open this window with three options, blocks, pages and my templates. Click pages and here you can see a whole bunch of different page templates. Now there's a few different ones but the good ones are actually paid and the free ones don't really have everything done on them. So we're going to install a new plugin for this. Let's go to plugins, add new, then search for starter templates. Let's install it and activate it. Now I'll head back to the tab with the Elementor opened up and reload the page. And we can see new option next to the folder icon in the center. This is the starter templates logo. Let's click it and here it can show us a lot of template options that are free and have all the pictures and everything that we want. So I like this adventure one. Let's click it, see the full version of it. There's a home page, about, services, and we can pick any of these pages to add on our website. So I like the contact page. Let me select that. Now I'll click on the button above that says import template. This opens up this page and everything is changed to fit my theme automatically. Now I can go and edit this as well. So let me show you how to do that. I'm just gonna click on contact us and my sidebar on the left now shows me some options with different sections on the top. Now by default we're in content, but I can change this. Let me just put get in touch here and select the next tab style. Here I can change the color of my font, its stroke or thickness and a lot more. And I can play around and see what I like. I can also go to the advanced tab where I get a background like this or even rotate or skew the text. Not really needed, but uh, if you're curious, you can check out these options. Now let's go through the page and edit the information like this. Put in an address. Now let's say I didn't want this section here. I can even click and drag it where I want. Now I'll add some more details, uh, maybe some social media icons. And I need to make these functional, so I'll click it. Now the sidebar shows me the boxes with the name of the social media platforms. So let me click Facebook. And this gives me a place to put my link in, so I can paste my link here. There's also a wheel here. This gives me a couple of link options, like open in a new window, which is a good option to enable so customers are not taken off your website. All right, now this keeps the traffic on my page. And I can add the links for each one of these pages here. Below that, I can even change the shape of the buttons using these options. So once we're done with filling out the page, we can go to the bottom of the sidebar and click publish. Now you'll see a message like this. And next to the publish button is a little arrow. Let's click it. And here we can save the template option to keep it in our Elementor template library. Now let's name it get in touch with us page and save. You can see that it is saved in our Elementor templates under my pages. 
we can even use this insert button next to it to put it on our page immediately. So click it, then apply. Now let's go here and check the page. There, we can see that the page has been inserted below the previous one. Now I can even remove each section of the template using these options on the top. Now, let's say I want to add a different page or a different section below this one that we just made. So if I scroll to the bottom, I can see our familiar icons to add a new template. Let's click on starter templates. Now I can either go back to the template I saw earlier or choose another page. So let's say I want a small section for my business success. So I'll use this option at the top of the pop-up to switch the blocks. Now I can see a bunch of blocks I can add and this one looks good. So I'll click it then hit the import button. Awesome, now it's on our page below the previous one. I can also edit this with details and numbers later on. Now all that's left is to update the website and that button is here. And my website is immediately updated with the latest changes. I can quickly save this template as well. And let's use this I button to view our page really quick. Perfect, looks good. Also, in this three minute video, I'm showing you how to triple your site speed for free using our new speed plugin. So you're gonna really thank me for this. Do check it out and I'm gonna see you there.